I'm Johnny Bluegrass, and we're here today with the Red River Underground, our inaugural trip. Yeah. Woo! We got right here we have Country Style, Troy Slade, and the man with the camera, Joe Ray. Joe Ray. Joe Ray. AKA Mountain Man. And we're going to take you on the hidden trails of the gorge. And today we thought we'd start it off with uh, an oldie but a goodie. We're going to start with a marked trail, thank goodness. Uh, number 100 of Shoei Trace. Well, we go by Jump Rock, Suspension Bridge, up Sand Mountain, then uh, up to Cloud Splitter, which will be a, one of the hidden trails of the gorge. Then we're going to take you on this uh, run around the rim, through Frog's Knob, and then down the Indian Staircase. So uh, these are trails that most people haven't don't know about, but they're some of the best ones in the in the gorge. So we're very excited. Red River Underground presents. Uh, Hidden Trails Hidden of the Gorge. Trails of the Gorge. Go ahead. It's going to be badass, it's gonna man. It's going to be badass. Hey, we're about a quarter mile into the trail. It's not very far. As you can see right here, we have the Red River running up to our left. In the background is a very famous rock from jumping called Jump Rock. We're on top of uh, the famous Red River Suspension Bridge. Before we start, I wanted to say that our unofficial sponsor today is going to be L81. Uh, we don't actually go across the bridge on the trail. As you can see where uh, Joe Ray is standing over there, uh, we, we're coming up on the side next to him on, on the left. We're going to go up the hill uh, towards Cloud Splitter. Go up from the bridge. Where I guess this is. Hey, it's Johnny Bluegrass again. We're, we're uh, just coming up the hill right from the suspension bridge. It was down there by the Red River. What you want to do now is the mark trail, but it can be difficult in the fall because of the leaves. We're going to go up this way. Joe Ray knows the way. Uh, right here where we're coming up here is uh, this is going to be Sandcastle Mountain is what we call it. It's badass, man. It's a mini hidden trail. If you notice, the right is where the, the regular trail uh, deviates, but the, the special little trail is up around here. It's going to hug around the rocks, and then we'll film there from Sandcastle Mountain. We'll show you where it is, and, uh, but you want to go left here. It'll come back to the, to the main trail, I promise. Hey y'all, Troy Slade here just with a quick tidbit for y'all. See these diamonds and turtle shells? Always stay on these trails. For example, many moons ago, Johnny Bluegrass and I came up to this enticing trail right here, Lades Nowhere. So just reminders, always stick to the trails. It's Johnny Bluegrass here with Joe Ray. Uh, we're just coming up to a, one of these uh, rock formation junctures on the trail. We're still on the Chateauy Trace. Uh, but this is a great watering hole if you've got yourself uh, a Sawyer water filter. Yeah, you All right, so this is the main uh, cutoff here after the trail. Last time we saw you guys, we walked probably about a half a mile, maybe to a mile. Um, this is uh, the start of Cloud Splitter. It's one of the most elusive but yet awesome uh, parts of the gorge. And uh, this is how you get up, and uh, we'll see you guys up here at the top. That is great. Your trail is going to basically be a ditch line. You're going to have a lot of roots to hang on to. It's, uh, it's a pretty crappy trail, and uh, you'll walk all the way up, and you'll see a small rock facing here. Keep climbing. We get cloud splitter. Splitting clouds. It's gonna be badass, y'all. So 
So we're at the ascent of Cloud Splitter. You got two routes to go up. You can go up on the rope like my boy Johnny Bluegrass is going to do. You can go to the right where it goes around like our boy Troy Slate. It is, as Troy Slate would say, it's badass. I'm going to go up on the rope. Check it out. Is this how you do it? Mike, do you want to go this way? or I'm going, I'm going to the right. Climb I can't, your way to the top. I can't climb, so. Yeah! The second entrance where country style is just showing up. There's the best overlook at the gorge. Wow. Actually, it's just a second. I'll tell you this is fucking I mean, this is badass, man. It's still going up. Look at that. Country style, what do you see? Here, the clouds here. A cloud splitter. And Johnny Bluegrass up there having a great time like he's rocky. Hey, it's one of the best views in the gorge. That would make you proud to be Bluegrass. She's Phoebe's gonna, gonna do cloud splitter with us. She's a frontier. This is the finale of cloud splitter. After you get down from the overlook, you come back where you initially ascent, and then you come into the cave where you gotta go over. You gotta crawl through it and then go to the other overlook. Cloud Splitter Part 2. Thank you, Joe Ray. Okay, so once you come in through the cave, you'll see Johnny Bluegrass here and Bill Murray. You gotta climb up the trees uh, by the Cloud Splitter gods that someone left into the crevice there, and then you come out into the right hand side to the overlook Part 2. It's like the Goonies. You ever come out this way? Holy crap. Joe Ray trying to get into the cage entrance. Oh my god. Let's just quietly watch him and judge. Slow going. Just coming back down from Cloud Splitter. We're gonna hit back on the Chateauwe Trace again, and and then we're gonna go up to uh, Frog Knoll and go down the Indian Staircase. All right, this is about two miles after the cloud splitter. We do a nice gentle hike up to what we call the cat's eye. And after the cat's eye, we're gonna go up this trail right here. There's the trail right over there. We just, it's just a little to the right when you go to the cat's eye, but here it is. Kind of over this cliff over here. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe there is one, there's the other. Now the Red River Underground wants to give you a safety tip. Yeah. I'm at Johnny Bluegrass, I'm gonna show you how to Daniel Boone and look over a ledge. Now a lot of people, when they look over the edge, they, they stick like that and they look over. But sometimes that little bit of shift of weight and the vertigo can cause you to fall over. So how you properly look over a ledge is this. Daniel Boone did it, and you should too. You get on all fours, distribute your weight, and then go, Good God, that's a So this is important right here. It's like once you get up to the top from that rock, 
formation is where we're going to split from the trail. The regular trail, the Chateaui Trace, goes that way. You can see the white marker there on the tree. But what you're going to do once you cross, come up here. So you want to go over here to the left. There's a lot of trails up there, but they all deviate towards the main trail. This comes back down from the Chateaui Trace, but ignore those. Keep always going to the left. Yeah, I know, uh, right, Troy Slade. It looks like how are we gonna do it? But I'm gonna, we're gonna show you how to do it because the way I discovered it was someone came up from it, so it surprised the hell out of me. But here we go. What you wanna do is come over here to the right. There's a couple of little roots, a little ridge that you can run across. And then you'll see there's a trail down there believe it or not. All right, be very careful guys. It's uh, a little slick coming down there on the, the leaves. And there's a interesting sanctuary here for a very rare flower it's called the white hairs goldenrod. Typically they bloom here under rock shelters this time of year. There's no blooms at the moment, just some ivy or something. It's one of only four places in the gorge in the world. And anytime you get to a water source, you just fill this little baggie up. I'll show you the filter here in a second. We're gonna fill up and have enough water to get back home. You just screw it here on top of the, the waste bag there, and you open up the, the cap, and squeeze and, and pour, and enjoy that limestone goodness. So how's it taste, Ray? It tastes like nature. We're leaving that direction and coming up this hill toward the Indian staircase. So right here, you can go up a steep rock, or you could take a side rock, be safe. So you're saying that's where you walked across, right down there? Go on the ridge. Here, look at the uh, rock formation there. Jeez, it goes down, doesn't it? It's a very popular repelling spot. If you'd like to repel, it's a great place. You repel off the knob? No, sir, you use a tree from behind. The knob is too dangerous. What do you say, Troy Slade? Oh, we badass, man. Gotta go down the rock face. Frog's knob. That's where we came over the cliff and walked around the rim. Just want to show it from this angle. And now this trail down where Mike is standing, uh, where Big Country Style, Country Style is standing. This trail here is part of the Sheltoe Trace. And if you had gone the other way, there's an arch called Princess Arch to be seen in that direction. But we cut that out. Yeah. And we took the hidden trail. Right. And so we want to go to the left here. And we're coming back down from the Indian staircase. We you want to make sure you go to the right when there's a, a fork. We forgot to film it earlier. But right here is a nice little pit stop where you can stop, eat your cliff bars, and drink your Sawyer limestone lime wine. Lime wine. 
Fortunately, our awesome day is now concluding. Although we have a couple, maybe a mile and a half mile hike back to the car, to the suspension bridge parking lot, uh, we are now up at the road where, so in terms of the woods, we're done for the day. However, uh, Joe right here is gonna show us the, the where you park and take the shortcut up to Cloud Splitter. And you'll walk down the road probably a good eight, 900 yards. And uh, you'll come up where there's posts on the left hand side and the right hand side. And then that'll mark the trail uh, ascent to um, the shortcut for Cloudswood. We just wanted to show everybody that uh, we walked along the road back to where we started right here. Is this road back to the parking lot, the suspension bridge parking lot. And you can see over here on the other side of the road, that's where we started earlier today. Uh, it's been a lot of fun for for us doing this, so uh, anybody got any other words? It was badass, man. And we're back. Nothing like a cool smoke after a 12 mile hike, huh? Did I my britches? I don't, no, hold on, let me see. I'm serious, y'all. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm serious.